Hello everyone, Donnell HD here, and today I'm going to show you how to set up, configure, and install the Nintendo Switch emulator Ryu Jinx on LaunchBox. I have my arcade folder here, and inside that photo I have my LaunchBox folder, the ROMs folder where we're going to be keeping our ROMs, and the emulators folder where we're going to be extracting our emulator to. I left a Dropbox link in the description below for everything that you're going to need to play your Nintendo Switch games right away. All you have to do is go to the download link and click on download here. Alright, I've downloaded my Ryu Jinx Necessities file and I've placed it here on my desktop. What we need to do is extract the contents of it into the emulator folder. So I'm going to open up my emulators folder here. And I'm going to open up my Ryu Jinx Necessities file. And I'm going to drag the contents of the Necessities file into the emulators folder. Once you're done extracting, you can get rid of the zip file. You won't need it anymore. All right, we're gonna run Ryu Jinx for the first time. So we can go in the Ryu Jinx folder here and click on the Ryu Jinx executable. It takes a second to load up, so I'm gonna skip forward here a bit. All right, when it first loads, you're gonna see this message. Do you want to use Vulkan as the default graphics backend? If you're using a high-end graphics card, then I would choose yes. If you aren't using a graphics card, choose no. It may also ask, would you like to update to the latest version? Also say yes and download the update. Once it's done, it's gonna say update complete. Would you like to restart Ryu Jinx? Just say yes. And it'll load up again. Okay, just a heads up. This emulator is fully portable and it is updated with the latest keys and firmware so you can back it up to your external hard drives for safekeeping. Now that the emulator has reloaded, it's time to configure the controller. So we're gonna to go to options and then settings Click on the input tab, and then click player one configure. Right now it's set to all keyboards. I'm using the Xbox controller, so I'm gonna drop this down arrow and choose Power A Xbox Series X controller. It looks like the controller has to be manually configured, so I'm gonna fast forward here a bit and configure it. Once you're done, you click save. On this window, click apply and then save. All right, now we're gonna import our games into Ryu Jinx. I have my arcade folder here and I already have my ROMs. So what I'm simply going to do is go to options and then settings. In the game directory section here, I'm going to click add. Then I'm gonna to go to my destination, desktop, arcade, ROMs. I'm gonna click add and then I'm gonna click apply and then save. Now that the games are imported in Ryu Jinx, it's time to configure the emulator in LaunchBox. All right, now that we're here in LaunchBox, click the three lines at the top left corner here. Click Tools, Manage, Emulators. We're gonna click Add, and in the Emulator Name section, we're gonna type Ryu Jinx. Now we set the path. Once again, my emulator is on Desktop, Arcade, Emulators, Ryu Jinx and the Ryu Jinx executable here. I also left a script in the description below for if you require it, it allows you to escape out of the emulator completely by pressing the escape key on the keyboard. Just paste it here in the running auto hotkey script section here. I'm also going to go to the associated platform section and I make sure I type my platform name here, Nintendo Switch. And I'm going to check the box here to set it as my default emulator. If you're using both Yuzu and Ryu Jinx emulators, you can decide which one you want to be the default or not. And then choose OK. And then click Close. Now that we've set up the emulator in LaunchBox, it's time to import the games. At the top right of the screen, we're going to go to Tools, Import, ROM Files. We're going to click Next. And now we're going to click Add Folder. Once again, my ROMs are on the Desktop, Arcade, ROMs Folder. Select folder, click next. What platform are you importing games for? Choose Nintendo Switch. Next, the emulator's Ryu Jinx, next. Use files in their current location, next, 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 next. Make sure all the games are spelled correctly and then click finish. All right, now that they're imported, 
It's time to test out the games. Here's Mario Tennis Aces, running at around 60 frames per second with sudden drops to the 40s every now and then. And here's Cruising Blast, running at around 60 FPS as well. And we've come to the end of our video. Thank you everyone for watching. If this video helped you out at all, support the channel and drop a like and subscribe. I've created more tutorials for other emulators as well. You can click on the thumbnails on the screen. As always, I'm Donnell HD, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.